Welcome to the Urban Cowgirl Show. Today is the first day that we've asked Sadie, that's Eve's daughter, to rate the child's ATV, which can go pretty slow. Um, we're not even sure how she's going to react when it starts moving and it's about to start raining and thunderstorming today and tonight. So we are really just uh, evaluating what we yet need to do to use uh, Sadie as a rope horse. Uh, we want her to be a turn back horse for Semi, who's my cutting horse, and we want her to be a practice horse for me to practice roping at various speeds. So Angela, having never driven this ATV, is going to go forward um, to about the third or fourth coffee can. It's all right. Sadie, Sadie's thinking of moving out. Back. I'm asking her, no. She thinks she has to move just because she saw that thing moving. And that ATV works best if it's not in deep sand, but being that it's about to rain, we don't expect to have any problem with it, uh, with its wheel spinning. How does that go? Are you all comfortable on it, Angela? Okay, now back it up to uh, close to the center of the driveway, kind of in front of Sadie. She was about to follow you. Notice how we have those chains on the right rear tire. That helps give us a little traction for this ATV. Okay, now, if I were to really be practice roping, I would have to be off to the left of the rear of the ATV, and I would have to swing my loop over Sadie's head and be able to rope the roping horns, which are an attachment for both my ATV and my electric bike. And I'd have to make sure that Sadie's head is not in the way. And it sure would be helpful if Sadie knew what the correct position was. Uh, as it is, sometimes as much as you try to go in correct position, your chances to rope will disappear if you don't rope um, timely. So I practice every day as if I were roping over a horse's head. And then I have to make sure that the horse wouldn't get upset by having this loop spin around her ears and fall in front of her eyes. These are all desensitization uh, tasks that are yet ahead for us. Uh, today, just desensitize her to this moving object. If I can get her to walk behind it, not get riled up, we'll see. We'll go a couple times up and down the driveway. It's starting to rain harder just to get a pre-test result to decide what's next. And I've got a snaffle bit on her. I'm going to try to, yeah, use my body language and flexion. Okay. Angela, just go forward. I'm going to walk with you. There you are. It's spinning because you're in a deeper sand in the center of the driveway. Good. And Angela, if I say stop, then just stop. Good. She's being good. I'm staying off to the left if I can. Whoa. Angela, make a U-turn. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Good girl. She's hearing the wheel spin and getting kind of concerned. Around we go. I'm getting good flexion. Off to the left again. Sitting on my pocket. Good. I'm going to keep going around as long as Sadie's behaving. Whoa. Okay, the cow stopped. So back, let me get back out of the way first. Let me ask lightly, softly for a back. Back, back. You can't back a horse enough. It's really good for training. She's starting to bite her bit, getting a little worried. Okay, I'm going to just give her her head and say, it's your job to kind of follow this weird looking thing. Good. A little bit of right neck flexion. Sit on my pockets, relax whenever I can. Her ears are, t are telling me that she's listening. Stop in the middle of the driveway if you can. I'm going to get in position. Wrong position. See, I can't rope from here. You stop. Angela, you stop. I'm going to put her in position. I'm going to ask 
look over her ears with a little give and take, sitting on my pockets, ask for her back. And I'm going to say, now, Sadie, I want you to go forward. So I'm squeezing a little bit. I'm going to put her in position. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. She's a little bit close, but if I had my roping horns on there, I could possibly swing the loop and catch the horns. She doesn't quite understand what I'm asking of her, but she's trying real hard to listen to me. But she's paying attention right now to something off in these bushes, something maybe my neighbor's doing. Remember, this is an urban rural setting. She's got to pay attention to the moving object. And with practice, she'll learn that. I'm going to back, give and take, back, little right hand tug, little right hand leg. You, you can stand there. I'm asking back, back, back. You can never ask for too much back if you're on flat ground. Looking over her ears, put myself in a little better position. Whoa! Whoa! No, she didn't wall without the rain, so okay, I need to get her to reply to my verbal request. Back, back. I don't have spurs on. I'm not even tickling her. Angela, go around one more time. I hope this isn't a bad judgment on my part. Sitting on my pockets. And this time stop in front of the breezeway, going in that direction. Sitting on my pockets, asking her, whoa. Okay, I did have to use a little bit of rain. Eventually, it's just going to be the whoa command, and she's going to see that the moving object stops, and she'll realize that her job is to go when it goes, stop when it stops, and put me in position a little bit off to the left so that I can swing my loop and rope the roping horns, which are just an attachment on this roping machine, as I call it, one of our mechanical training devices here that we built economically at Shadrack Farms. And that's all for today, Sonia Sokolow. We're working with Firecrest Easter Eve today on our unicycle uh, cow simulator. And uh, we have it set up now, so we think it's gonna work just fine, even if we wanna pick up a little speed. I'm sitting on a vinyl step up that we often use to get up in the saddle. And I am running the cow simulator easily and comfortably with my hands rather than with my legs. Okay, now I'm going to line up here with Eve at her head. We're closer than we usually want to be uh, for uh, cow work practice, cutting practice, but we do that at first if we haven't done it for a while with a horse so that we're sure that the horse sees the moving object. And then we're going to move back about eight feet as we're getting the response that we want from Eve. Now Eve, uh, it does know how to work over her haunches. When she gets stressed, she raises her head. So we have our double reins on today, the double reins with the roller that I got from Al Raguzine, dancinghorseshow.com. And they're just sitting on her neck. And if she starts getting stressed, Katie will just bump her with those double reins to remind her, yes, to break at the pole. She's real responsive to that, and she's real light to it. We just have an O-ring snaffle on today, and uh, Katie does have her spurs on um, that we use uh, just to tickle the horses to get their attention. We don't use the spurs to jab them. Okay, now I'm going to... Uh, follow Katie's movements. If Katie starts stepping back and it looks like Eve is being uh, in, in good shape, then I'll move the cow. And if you start having trouble with Eve, I'll stop the cow so that you can correct. Remember, this is a training device. We're not going to go fast today. We're just going to go slow, at most a trot. And of course, this is our shorter run, so it's not that easy to pick up a canner on this run. But that's why we're doing it with Eve and her daughter, Sadie. We're working our way up to the longer run when we, we're sure we have uh, their attention, when we're sure that we have their understanding and mutual confidence, and then we'll ask them 
to canter along with the moving object, which we have done for you on the Urban Weekend Cutter and Roper with Semi, my best cow horse. And I think that was probably in part one or part two. Okay, so I'm watching you and you watch Eve. Head down, request for back. She goes forward, so she's a little bit on certain what the request is. It's been a while, yeah, definitely been a while, but she'll get it, she'll remember. And she does have her Caballos on, by the way. Ah, uh, little, no, that's right. Over the haunches is the most important, good. Give the horses time to think and watch. Good. She is watching. Yeah. Now, she is kind of coming towards this fence, which will result in leaking. So we need to keep her parallel, even though she's close. I'll watch for your request to go back to power from the haunches. I'll move the cow. Uh, now I'm going to give you some random patterns. Waiting for her to go back. Okay, she didn't think I was going to stop, so she wasn't watching. She was just getting into a pattern, and she's gaping now. We're going to try to do this with softness. When she realizes that the patterns are random, she'll start watching. Much better. Nice, nice over the haunches. Good, no gaping. Little gaping now, she's saying, oh, maybe I better give you some lateral flexion. And <laughs> she tries hard, <laughs> okay, to give the right answer. Oh, much better than when she first started. You know what? Sometimes cows pretend like they're going to move and then they don't move in that direction. So I'm doing that to her too. This is a training device. Know how a cow moves and simulate it. So you're letting me move the cow rather than you move her. Am, am I gathering that? Yeah. Good. Because that's the way we got to get to. That's where we got to get to when she actually does cow work in a herd. She's got to watch. And she's got to know she's got to go all the way around. She's got to know she's going to stop head on head. That was a correction to yeah. back her? Okay. Slow, on purpose, stop, back, on purpose. Good, that was her, huh? Yeah. Good, slow. Nice. Keep going this time. A little more speed. Ah, uh, a little bit of stress there. Back her up. When I see that stress, I'm just going to wait so that you can correct her by asking her to back. Pick up that, the double reins if you can if she starts pulling on you. Okay, back in position. Good. <laughs> this is such a better way to train than to use a real cow because you need time to analyze to slow down, to change the pattern, to help the horse understand. And these cow simulators are the way to go. And that's what RFD TV's Weekend Cutter is all about. It's for people like us who want to learn. We don't have big herds of cows. 
and uh, we want to know what to do with our cow simulators and our small herds of cows or our small cows as we have here at Chadrack Farms to get our horses to understand what cow work is all about. Okay, now I'm going to go back around the haunches, good. Back to the middle this time. I'm going to uh, surprise her and stop. Okay, and back up a little bit when she doesn't stop. Now I'm going to come back this way. So she's going to think I'm going back. Good. She did well. Good. She wasn't quite ready for a fast movement there, but you did it correctly, even though it was slow. Back this way. Good. Back this way again. Oh, I like that enthusiasm. Whoa, very nice. Let's wait for a moment. And I noticed that you were going back out mm -hmm. to a better position. You feel she's watching even though she's out there. Yeah, she's doing most of the um, rollbacks on her own. Doing the rollbacks on her own. You know, there's a, a point at which we need to decide that's good enough for today. What's your impression? You want to do a little more? Um, Maybe a, a, a little faster for a trot? Yeah. The okay. Only, the only real thing I'm doing is making her stop and making sure she goes 180. Okay. So Katie's working on reminding Eve when to stop and reminding Eve that she's to swing over her haunches 180 when it's time to change direction. But now we want to work a little bit on speed. Not a lot, but a little. So I'm going to go southward. That's away from the camera. Uh, if I see that Eve is watching, I'm going to stop and give you a turn around back northward and pick up speed. Okay? I want Eve to watch. Good, she picked up the speed, not, uh, not a lot of gaping, not extremely soft, but got the idea. If we can get that one more time, I'd say let's quit because she's going to get to go on a trail ride today. It isn't raining, it isn't windy. It's a good day for her to relax out on the trail. Okay, so I'm not going to, I'm going to go back again. If she's behaving on the way back, I'll pick up speed. Okay, I'm going to do it one more time in the other direction, picking up speed. Come back to the middle. I hope she stops soft. She did. And a little bit of backup because she didn't stop head on head, but there's a lot to learn. And she'll learn it, but we're going to do it in tiny baby steps. We're going to make it fun for her, and she's going to want to do it because Generally speaking, the horses want to do their job. If they're not stressed, scared, and if they know what doing their job correctly is. And the way we tell them that is we stop on a good note and we always remove the pressure when we're getting the right answer. That's all for today. Today is a short preview to show you how we're going to try to teach Semi, my best cow horse, to following moving objects that uh, go around her. Uh, we now have two mechanical cutting machines. You've seen them both operate, but we haven't operated them together. And what we're going to do today is we're going to have Semi slowly follow the little doll that's on this mechanical cow halfway down the arena. Then we're going to ask her over her haunches to come back to follow that doll. And then as soon as that doll reaches um, the east end of the cable, which is the end that I'm pointing to close to the camera, I'm going to tell Semi with my body, with uh, a little tickle from my spur or just pressure from my leg, with a little bit of direct or neck rein, and by keeping myself well balanced in the saddle by using my horn. When you're working cattle, a lot of times you have to push on your horn so that you don't get thrown left, right, or front, back. 
Okay, so today is just a preview of how we hope this will work. First thing we're going to do is run the cable cow on the south fence. Semi's been waiting here patiently. She does have, does have an O-ring snaffle. We aren't using the side pull or the uh, any other device right now. I want to have both reins to uh, try to tell her as clearly as I can what I want from her. Okay. She was going forward, leaking forward, okay? Whoa, okay, back. Now she's stepping back. Good, and Katie, as I approach the this cable cutting machine, which is run by Unicycle, I'm gonna have Semi watch it. This could be real confusing to her because she's never done both of them before. Whoa, okay, now let me step back. Look over my shoulder, little squeeze, little rain control to keep her from leaking. Trying to keep myself in the center. Good. Now, as soon as this cable cow gets here, you take over. Whoa. Little left leg. I do have a spur on if I have to tickle. Whoa. Back. Good, very nice. Over here, little right leg. Picking up speed a little bit, not a trot yet, just a walk, faster walk. Whoa, let me step back. Step back, good. Stop for a minute and go back again. Whoa, I want her to realize that we're not doing a pattern, we're doing whatever the moving object does. Back, back. Direct rein, neck rein, right leg, open the door with the left. Whoa, good. Back again. No leaking. Forward, around, around, around. Now she has to rate. The cow's going very slow, so she has to go slow. That's her job as a cow horse. Okay. There's the cow now over there all of a sudden. Ooh. Back. Little right rein to tell her don't leak. Little neck rein on the right to tell her follow this moving object now. Rate it. Go as slow or as it fast as it goes. Woo. Back. Back. Good. Left leg pressure. Pick up the other, whoop, uh-uh, no. She wanted to go forward, I had to tell her no. You're just going to go over your haunches to follow that moving object now. Ooh. Back, back, good, good, very nice. Close the door on the right, keep her from leaking forward. Let's go, let's go closer to you this time, Katie. Good, nice, slow, rating, good. Step back, 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 back. I'm trying to push on my stirrup so I don't lean forward. Pick up this moving object. Loose rein, I want her to follow it. You stop wherever you want, Kyle, up until the mirror. Good, she stopped by herself, okay. I'm noticing or helping her notice that we're going over our haunches without using the reins this time. No. Right leg closes the door, left leg opens the door. I'm going to let her stop this time. No rein if I can. But I'm sitting on my pocket. She stopped beautifully. Now I'm going to ask her to a little bit of rein to back her. Around. Open the door on the right with my leg. Close the door on my left. Let's stop now, Katie. She's a little bit, see, Sammy's confused. She says, oh, wait a minute. We've been going over there. And I'm saying, no, here's the rules of the game. What, wherever this moving object goes and stops, you go and stop at that speed. And then if we get past that moving object, you pick up the moving object over there. 
and do the same thing and you can see that we will be picking up speed as semi understands we will be using the entire arena right now we have the arena cut in half we'll be able to go the entire length of the south fence um, to pick up speed we're going to be able to do this as soon as semi understands the rules of the game we're going to be able to do this at a trot and then eventually at a canter and that's a preview of what yet is coming up on the urban weekend cutter and roper it's all for today a postscript we changed position here katie is now in the saddle i'm on the unicycle if you can see how i'm doing this close up because we put the camera closer too sammy has been practicing to follow this cloth cow at random patterns oh. Now I'm going to go back to the far end and on the extra cycle as we get close to the orange cone, Katie's going to look to her right, close the door with her left, not let Semi, that's right, not let Semi leak in, oh. have her work over her haunches, a step back, step back and over the haunches, a couple random patterns there. Nice, nice, but she is throwing her head up and gaping a little bit. So next time Ooh. we'll use a bozelle or a side pull. Okay, uh -huh. now if she's gonna pick up here. Who? It's a little confusing, two different moving objects. A little faster, let her pick up a trot. Who? Good. I'm gonna make a short run. Try to keep that head down bump and uh, squeeze her into it. Just, there you go, much better, but she still is playing with that bit. Oh. I'm gonna go all the way back to the orange again, and then Kyle, with the extra cycle, will pick up the moving object. Katie will look to her right, close the door on her left. Semi, yes, did a nice turn there. Oh. Over the haunches. Couple times oh. on the south fence is good. Very nice. Very nice, we wanna stop on a good note. Other than not getting vertical flexion as good as I'd like, Semi's doing much better in oh. rating, in haunches work, in watching. And that's what we're gonna call the end of this session. Come to the middle, she's comfortable here in the middle. Back up oh. a little bit and we'll turn Back. over the haunches. Back. Slowly. Nice. That's a perfect place to stop. Now, my Back. cameraman, just before Back. we finish the session, is going to zoom in on the extra cycle on the little doll that's our moving object. Are we asking too much of our horse to, to do a uh, cloth cow here and a little doll there? I don't think so, but the only way to know is to try it. See more at www.urbancowgirlchannel.com.